to Brett Ligon, special guest joining us, the Montgomery County District Attorney. Brett, thank you for being with us. Yes, ma'am. Good evening. Your people working round the clock. Uh, when I heard that the perp was on the run and that the mother's blood allegedly was visible on the side of the Lexus, I could not imagine who would so coldly gun down Kayla Marie Golden and take her baby. And then, according to reports, as she's trying to get the baby out of the car, shrieking, my baby, my baby, the car actually hits her as it peels out of the parking lot. Who is this alleged suspect, Verna McLean, a 30-year-old female nurse? The information that we have on Ms. McLean at this time obviously is, is what we would have uh, publicly. And what I think is important for people to understand, as far as law enforcement's efforts, the call had initially dropped around 2.30 yesterday afternoon uh, of the disturbance there in the parking lot. So literally from 2.30 a quarter till 3 up until about 10.15, 10.30 last night, every bit of effort was focused on uh, seeing if we could find the child. Um, obviously, you've been involved, Nancy, with cases like this. Uh, sometimes they end uh, not so well. But the Sheriff's Department probably had 40 uh, people on the ground. Of course, the Rangers had assets mm -hmm. out there, and so did we. And for those four or five hours, when you saw a SWAT being deployed, uh, I know all those guys personally, and almost every single one of them is a father of, of children. Uh, they were, to a man, it was find the kid, find the kid, find the kid, whatever we can do to find the kid. So you have that five-hour period of time where law enforcement is acting, and they are investigating, uh, but the primary purpose was to find Keegan, uh, and of course we did. That baby's life hung in the balance, and, and when I think about it, Brett, I believe you've got children, am I right? Yes, ma'am, and I know you have twins. And when you think about how close this father came to life, only losing his wife gunned down in a parking lot, but then the baby, too. So how did you guys find the alleged shooter, her name, everyone, Verna McLean? How did you actually get a hold of her? Miss McLean uh, voluntarily came to the scene uh, under and approached law enforcement. Uh, Ms. McLean, as well as a couple other relatives, started uh, communicating with the law enforcement assets that were there on the scene. Is it true she wanted to adopt a baby, Brett? The uh, arrest report uh, that you have access to indicated what I her... Um, okay, and law enforcement is obviously uh, the one that was questioning Ms. McLean all through the night, and so the information that she provided to them as you know, it's difficult for me to comment on a statement, but the information she was able to provide to the law enforcement suspect or to the police officers and the investigators well, was the information that we used to charge her with the capital murder. When you're making the decision that you're going to be faced with after this indictment, because obviously it's going to be indicted, when you think about the victim, the real victim here that I'm thinking about is the three-day-old boy that will go the rest of his life thinking probably somehow it's my fault that mommy died trying to save my life. And now he and his two brothers are facing life without their mother. Um, Brett, where is the baby tonight? Is it back with the family? It's my understanding that he is. Uh, and I Last night, um, finally, between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m., most of us had left the scene and, and tried to get a little bit of sleep. And so my understanding was that the family was summoned to a local police department. And so there was uh, an interview that was to have taken place. S I assume that that uh, interview has taken place. And at this point, there's everything in my mind to make me believe that, in fact, the uh, father does have uh, the child. Yeah. 